Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a Lego cake. First you're going to need one box cake mix and just follow the instructions on how to get that together. And you're going to use a 9x9, kind of like a brownie pan, and you're going to spray that really well with non-cooking spray. And then you're going to need six little cupcake liners. And I'm using a scooper so that my cupcakes are going to be all relatively the same size. Now you're only going to use four of these for the cake, but I like to have a couple extra just in case something is uneven or gets messed up. And then the rest of the batter you pour into the cake pan and bake according to the instructions on the box. And I tap it on the counter to kind of settle it and get some air bubbles out. And then once it comes out of the oven, I do not let it cool. I just lay the knife along the top and start shaving off anything that has kind of formed a dome or a circular um, bubble on top. And then I take the knife and go inside the cake pan using the sides as a guide to try to make it as even and flat as possible. And as soon as I get done with that part, I bring it over to my cooling rack and flip it upside down and let it completely cool before you ice it. And I made my own icing. I did a simple buttercream recipe. If you do not want to do that, it's probably easier just to buy a can mix and it'll be a lot creamier and smoother. But if you choose to make your own buttercream, you use a half a cup of shortening, vegetable shortening, one stick of butter, and you're going to mix those together. And to that, you're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and then four cups of powdered sugar, and I added mine a cup at a time, stopping to kind of stir and mix in between. And it's gonna get really dry, and then so you're gonna add in two tablespoons of milk. Now in hindsight, I probably should have added more milk than that to make it uh, softer, I guess is the way to say it. You'll see here in a second. Um, I dyed mine blue. I didn't want it too dark of a blue because it would take a lot of food coloring. So I kind of went with like a Lego friend type blue. And it was easy icing the base of the cake, but it was kind of difficult doing the cupcakes. Um, as I said, this is a stiffer buttercream recipe. If I could have thinned it out, in hindsight, I would have done that. And here I am just taking a wet paper cloth, paper towel, and wiping, kind of cleaning the plate up, trying to make the lines a little bit straighter. Then I took a butter knife and cut the tops of the cupcakes off so that they will lay flat on top of the cake and peeled the cupcake liners off of them and placed it on top of the cake. And so here I am getting ready to ice those and as you can see <laughs> it's not that easy. I should have definitely thin this out. But I do have a warm glass of water that I'm sticking my spatula in and the warmth on the blade mixed with a little bit of moisture made it easier to smooth, but it didn't make it completely smooth how I had wanted it. So here is how it turned out. I didn't think it was that bad. I'm going to try to do some more recipes and cooking and cookies and brownies and things making Lego stuff. So please stay tuned for that and please like this video if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment if you try to make this yourself. Thanks for watching guys.